My name's Robert Perdine. I'm with Call Tower. Are you guys familiar with Call Tower? A little bit. A few years ago. Well, we're about to do the panel here in a minute, so we'll talk a little bit more about that. Essentially, we have two platforms that we do. One is Cisco Call Manager in the cloud. Uh, it's it's true Cisco Call Manager, so it's 10.5. It's not a broad soft or a soft switch. It, any type of third-party application it is true call manager in the cloud. So if you have customers that uh, aren't aren't happy with SmartNet, right? They want to get away from SmartNet. Um, they don't want to manage. Yeah, they don't want to manage their hardware. It's a great uh, great way to move into the cloud. They can keep their Cisco phones. Uh, since we're running Cisco, the dialing plans don't change. So it really is a true. Uh, very easy migration to, to, to move from a from a prem-based solution to, to go into the cloud. The other solution that we have is Skype for Business. So the gentleman from Microsoft talked earlier about 5,000 mailboxes a, a week. I think last year they sold over 200 million mailboxes of 365. So we're voice enabling those now. So what we've done is we actually build SIP trunks in our data centers, and you can make those PSTN calls through your link application. There's only four hosters in the world that Microsoft certifies that solution with. There's only two in the United States, and we're one of those. So if you have customers that are rolling out 365 or interested in link, and want to make that their voice service, very, very easy way to do that. And in addition, from a cost perspective, on the Cisco side, of course, we allow them to use their Cisco phones. If they're deploying 365, they have a, an E1, E2, E3, or E4 license. Well, if they purchase an E3 or an E4 license, they essentially have bought what we're going to sell them from a voice perspective, right? So we give you credit back. So our, our package on the Skype for Business is $30, $32 a seat. If they have an E3 license, it drops to $24. And if it, they have an E4 license, it drops to $17. So a very, very cost-effective way to deploy voice services for Skype. So those are the two platforms that we have. We do have an international presence, so we're in 62 different countries. We can bring uh, local DIDs as well as services, circuits, into in each of those countries. So again, from an international perspective, our data centers are in San Francisco, Chicago, New Jersey, uh, and Salt Lake City. So again, geographically just separate uh, data centers. We run what we call 4040 active active architecture. So if any one data center goes down, another data center can carry that entire load. We, when you say video, we do from either either uh, both applications have video. We offer Jabber today, uh, so that's through Cisco, and that's a one-on-one -on -one video call. For Skype for Business, you can actually do up to 25 um, simultaneous calls. I actually used it. You gotta watch where I say this, right? Uh, for my fantasy football draft, and I had you know nine nine of my buddies didn't have Skype, so they don't have to have those licenses. So I sent it the evite e out, and all ten of us were on video. So it's actually a pretty cool application. Not not a really good business one, but it's a, you know good application. There. Um, the case study that we're going to talk about today is Velcro. Um, so they they manufacture in six different countries today. Um, I'm sure you've heard of Velcro, right? Um, the Velcro, the, the company that. Yeah. Well, we're probably all have some Velcro on right now, right? Um, so they had uh, several old PBXs. They didn't have one platform. Um, just old, antiquated, different solutions at different, um, different countries, different facilities. And what they wanted to do was kind of have one uh, seamless platform, so folks can IM and presence, and they're deploying 365. So it was really a, a great fit for them. They're bringing in their own MPLS network. And, and we allow customers to do that. We can do that for you if you want to. If, if, if you don't want to bring your own bandwidth in, we can do that. It won't be a DIA circuit. We'll bring an MPLS circuit so we can manage that that traffic better. Um, but if you want to bring in your own internet uh, connectivity, we will support that as well. If you get on calltower.com and go to support, the very last one it's a, it says voice over IP test, and it's actually not a speed test. It, it'll it'll you, you can put how many uh, calls you want to uh, simulate. And uh, it'll actually go and, and check your delay, your jitter, your latency on your network based upon the parameters that you put in there. Um, it'll actually give you a test number. You can call Call Tower, and we'll actually we have an engineer that'll go through saying if we were going to deploy voice on your network, here's some things we may want to consider. So again, it's it's it's, it's good to know what, if you're going to deploy voice, you know what you're getting. Uh, but back to Velcro, uh, we're able to reduce costs for those guys. It, it's one seamless system worldwide. Um, we've just started deploying that about a month ago, and, and the feedback we're getting is just, they, they love it. So it really is 
they're playing with the video a lot. Are they doing, did you say, are they doing the Cisco or the? Skype. 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 They're, they're doing the Skype yes, using Link? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, well, technically, and I call Link Skype and Skype Link, right? Technically, Skype for business, as they were talking about, is not out yet. The skinniest, so like I have on my computer, it, it actually shows the Skype for business, but it, 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 it's actually Link 2013. Microsoft has not, not released Skype for business yet. It's gonna be out later this year. We've been beta testing it for about four months yet. So it's, it's next, but the, the, but the GUI looks like Skype for business, um, but it's, it's really Link 2000. Do you see people replacing DVX with Skype for our business? All the time, all the time. Completely. That, that's what Velcro did. I mean, we have, we, we they complete, and in fact, I see now in the last few months people are doing that and they're not buying handsets. And as the gentleman talked earlier, that, that's what people are just getting headsets. And that's what they're using. When I when I work out of my home, if I and I have with with the link product, the Skype product, you can put it on seven different devices. So actually when I get a call, my cell phone rings, my computer rings, and my handset rings. And it so, works? Oh, I can pick them up. I mean, I can show you my cell phone right now. I can pick up and show you the link application. I can dial you through my link application. It'll show you my 469 number. And then I close that out and dial from my cell phone. It'll show my 214. So can however you want to accept that call or make that call, I can do that. I had just heard some early link adopters for voice were disenchanted yet. Absolutely. And, and, and we get that too. And that's why a lot of times we'll show the demo. We use it internally. So I can actually pull my laptop on. I was outside earlier on a conference call. And I mean, I'm using the, the hotel's wireless coming through my laptop and I'm, and I'm placing PSTN calls. No problem.